for those Linux users of you out there who uh, you know that the players we have in uh, Linux for video play pretty much any format out there, things like Totem and M Player. But you may have realized uh, a few months ago, um, and I just became aware of this, that if you go to the Apple website, uh, the Apple Trailers website, and try to watch videos, um, the, the video won't play. And the uh, reason for this, uh, as you'll see as I click here, player starts but you don't get a connection at all for the video. reason for this is Apple, uh, the company, decided that they know what's best for you and, and if you're not running either Windows or, or Mac that you shouldn't be watching these trailers. Um, it's not a codec problem. Uh, we can watch the videos. It's their server is looking at your computer and saying, well, hey, this is a Linux computer. Let's not let them watch this video. Well, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but of course, uh, as always with open source, there's a way around things like this. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So the first way I'm going to show you is how to get it working uh, in Firefox. So the first thing you need to do is go and download this plugin called User Agent Switcher. You can go to the website, uh, Firefox website, and do a search for User Agent, or I'll have the link in the description. So just download this plugin. Once it's downloaded, it will ask you to restart Firefox. Just click Restart, and it will restart. Um, then what you need to do is the video will still won't play. You have to go up here to Tools and to User Agents. And what you need to do is you need to go to Edit User Agents. And uh, you can create it by hand by going new, but I'm going to put a link to a user agent that I've already created. It's in the description. So download that. Uh, it's an XML file. And then go to import. You'll go to where that file is. Um, I called it QuickTime UA for QuickTime user agent. And click open. And you'll see that it's there now. And now you can just click OK. And go back up to tools. And select that as your user agent. It says QuickTime 7.6.2. <clears throat> and then refresh the page. Now this works 99% there. You actually don't get it to play in the player here. You see I, see I still have this error. The video is not playing. But if you click on your little option bar here and go to copy, that copies the link of the video. And then all you have to do is go up to your address bar and paste it in there. And then hit enter. And Firefox will play that video. So it takes an extra step there, <coughs> but uh, it works, even though Apple doesn't want it to work. Um, so that's how you get working in Firefox. Once you have it set up like that, do remember to, when you're done watching the video, set it back to default user agent, or you may have some problems on other pages. Uh, but anytime from this point on that you need to watch a trailer at applestrailers.com or apple.com forward slash trailers, just go to Tools, User Agent, select QuickTime, and then copy the uh, link to the video and paste it in your address bar. That's all you have to do. Now, let's say you want to download the video. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that from the command line. So those of you who are afraid of the command line, you can stop watching the video now. Uh, but those of you who want to be able to download the video, uh, we kind of do the same thing at the command line using wget. Wget, I've talked about in past videos, and it's just a program for downloading uh, files off the internet. Um, but we need to also switch the user agent in that, which it already has one set up for QuickTime. So all you have to do is type uh, wget, and then the U switch, it's a capital U, and then QuickTime uh, forward slash 7.6.2. And I'm assuming this is probably case sensitive, so it's a capital Q and a capital T in QuickTime. Then all you have to do is put, <coughs> excuse me, the link from for the video. So if you go back to this, and once again you say copy and then in quotations you can paste the link to that video and then just hit enter and in a couple of seconds depending on the size of the video it may take a couple of minutes the video is downloaded so uh, now I can use M player or any of my players uh, to play that video So that is how you uh, can download videos and watch videos from Apple's trailer site. 
uh, even though their server is restricting uh, Linux users. So uh, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. And don't forget the links are to the uh, in the description for the plugin for Firefox and for the user agent file that I created. So um, once again, Firefox has a plugin for anything. So anything you want to do uh, in Firefox, there's probably a plugin for it. And I hope this video helped. Uh, have a great day.